They're actually rolling right now. Oh, oh you have? Oh, okay, we can. Here we go. Here we go. We live. Hello. Am I good how I'm holding this? Yes. Okay, good. Um, welcome back. Look who I have here, Cassie DePaiva. She said my name right. I'm so happy. Oh, what? Do people say it wrong? Oh, my gosh. De that, DePava? DePavia, DePuva, DePava. They're De morons. Pa yeah. Just look at it. You know, I said, honey, really? Do you want me to take this name? And I said, I was happy to take you it. You were Cassie Wesley first. All day long. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like DePava better? Um, you know what? My first marriage, I held on to my name. Oh, your first marriage. You've been, I did not, in all the research I that I did. I have that's because I went, la, 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 that didn't happen. La, la, la. Well, the, it's I not on the married, internet either. I was married for six years I to, see. um. A very nice man. A very nice man. Okay. And I did not take his name. I, I was on the guiding light at the time. Oh, you were? Yes. And then I just <laughs> said, you know, when I met Jimmy, I didn't, all of the other stuff didn't matter. I, 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 back in my youth, when I married him, when I was younger, I held on it because I thought it was important for my identity. It doesn't matter. Who? Nobody cares. Uh, the name. Nobody no. cares. Although no. DePiva is a mouthful. Cassie no, DePiva. No, it's really sexy. Yeah, okay. It is. Cassie um, DePiva. Cassie DePiva. Yeah. Yeah, I sound exotic until you meet me and I'm your the girl next door. He, your <laughs> husband's very sexy, too. He can be. I can say that, right? Yeah, you can. Because you're you a very... You can say it to him. He'd probably go, well, you're sexy, too, Michelle. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's right. But I feel like I could say that to you because yeah. you're confident. I, I can be confident. I don't have any... Listen, I, I'm at a time in my life where I don't have to apologize for anything. And I don't feel that I need to. I'm here... It is what it is. Um, everything's real. Everything's, you know. Me too. Everything's falling. Everything's dying. And uh, uh, it's okay. But it's good. Nothing's falling. Nothing's dying. Some creepy skin. Oh, atrophy? Yeah. yeah oh, kind of well, stuff. that's that's been. <laughs> you know, what the. That's <laughs> been my friend because it, it makes me appear as if I'm slimmer. Atrophy. Because people will say to me, you, you've you lost weight. And I, I've actually gained weight. But, I mean, I just think it's the atrophy um, kicking in. You, know, if you hang <laughs> upside atrophy? down, do you think it'll just, you think it's just gravity's pulling everything down? It, I mean, isn't it? It's okay. Oh, I don't mean, know. I think everything kind of um, settles in. Yeah. <laughs> I think everything settles <laughs> in and as I feel more attractive. You do? As a f in my 50s than I did in my 20s. I felt my 20s. I hated being in my 20s. You did? I did. I it was it was uh, um really uncomfortable for me. I didn't know who I was. I was trying to please my parents and trying to be a good girl and you know had this wild side in me and I was struggling to find out who I was. Um I started on the guiding light when I was 25 and Amazing. then I was on there for four and a half years and those That's were the awful those were awful times for me. Oh, really? Because you I'd never about it, nobody really warns you about success. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And then you go home for the first time, and they're asking you, what's it like to work with Reva Shane? You know, and it's like, what uh, was it? What was it like to work with Reva? She was wonderful. Kim Zimmer's a fabulous actress, but at the same time, She's you're awesome. you're going, holy cow! Nobody really cares about you anymore. They they more no, more they interested. What was your character's name? I can't believe I don't know that. I did so much research on her, by the way. <laughs> obviously not. Oh, well, obviously not. Yeah. Um, I played not, Chelsea Reardon. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was Who were you I was related to? The Reardons. <laughs> I'm the Reardons. I'm and I worked opposite um, uh, Grant Alexander. Philip Spaulding was Philip Okay, yeah, Chelsea. that's Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's a sweetheart. Yeah. Did you work with uh, Michael O'Leary? Uh, yes. I did. Oh my God. He was he my has, cousin on the show. Oh, really? Yeah. He has such a sexy mouth, don't you think? I no? I guess. I mean, it's been, shoot, 20 years you since do, I've Michael. seen him. Mm. Okay, Michael, you His need to come on the show. Is really like, and when he talks, it goes. That's, like you that. look like Donald Trump when you do that. When I, do, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, he does. He, I, I think it's really. He's a funny guy. I did my screen test with him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. He's a good. Hey, guy. listen, I want to ask you because I've seen interviews of you talking about your son. Yes, and um, being hearing impaired. Yes. In the beginning. And I'm going to ask you, but I want to ask you. Okay, you're doing sign language now. I know. Did you, no, I want <laughs> to ask joking. you. I want to ask you, like, when you, when you, uh, I've heard some interviews. Yes. But 
I want to ask you, when you found this out, like how did you, and I know you've said this a million times, and if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. We don't have to. Yeah. But um, like what was, what was the first sign that you knew something was going on? You know, he was born in Mount Sinai um, in New York. And at that time, only 11 states federally mandated newborn screening, and that is when I'm sure your children had their ears tested. Well, back then they didn't, only 11. My daughter didn't. Okay. But they had that with my son. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's been a huge soapbox that I have stepped on yeah, to yeah, really help that. other, other families and whatever. But you don't really think about your child not being able to hear you. Um, and then you don't think about your child not being able to tell you that you can't hear, mm. that it, they can't hear you mm -hmm. either. So it, that's, we really, um, we realized it probably when he was seven months because neighbors of ours had twins that were around the same age and they were following dialogue. And we were like, well, she was just kind of sitting there. <laughs> but we didn't do anything about it until he was a year old and, I, you know, we were both kind of in denial about it because he was, he had... He was, his peripheral vision was so sharp, so he would turn and he would see something. So I thought, well, he could hear that, but he couldn't. Um, and then you start the ball rolling. But the ironic thing is that Jimmy, his story at One Life to Live at the time, his wife on the, sh his soap wife gave birth and one of the children were twins. And that was two, one of the children was deaf. And that was two years prior to JQ being born. So he had already gone through this process of, of playing this and learning to do a little signing and doing whatever. So when we realized that possibly JQ had some hearing issues, we called the teacher of the deaf that Jimmy worked with on set. And she hooked us up with uh, um, an audiologist and a doctor. And, you know, you sit your baby, when you sit your baby to have her, their ears tested, they put these big headphones on them. This JQ was one. And you're sitting there thinking, you want the doctor to say, oh, his ears are just, you just got to clean them out. And you can, st the baby's sitting there on your lap, and you've got the uh, the headphones. You can hear shooting so much sound into their little head, and you know your child just sitting there like that. And I'm, you know, I'm, you know, you're just sick, you're sick. Um, and then they tell you there's uh, profound, se severe to profound hearing loss, and then you kind of go, well, well, what's that mean? Because it's a whole different language you know you study all your life you study to go to this trip to Italy and then you get off the bus or the plane and you're in Germany and you're like oh oh no I'm now I've got a deaf child what do you do mm. and once <sighs> it took about a weekend I couldn't really say it out loud you know I finally called Jimmy back to the bedroom and said oh my god Jackie's deaf and I mean it still just kills me and um why didn't anybody say that he's deaf you know, hearing loss, you know, you know, but he was, he was. So they did, they don't use the word deaf. Well, I guess they do, but they, you know, everybody's politically correct. Yeah. You know, I choose the word deaf because that's what it is. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything you need to apologize for. And they're doing such great strides with things. And uh, JQ's been bilaterally cochlear implanted, mm -hmm. but. It was a process. I didn't know. I was, you know, a, a working, definitely a working mom, uh, in the middle of a contract negotiation, and when I you found this out. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I knew that I needed to take him down for speech therapy twice a week, and we did. And they didn't want to give me any time off to do that, and I, you know, it was just it was just stressful time. Oh yeah. But everything came full circle. Yeah. JQ is doing really, really well. He. Um, has been mainstream since he was three years old, has beautiful speech, and it's been, um, it's it's really taught me to be a, a better mom. Yeah. And I want to help other people because so many people don't know how to ask those hard questions. And, yeah. you know, they don't, they leave the hospital, you know, not knowing whether your child can hear or not. What You know whether your child has other things. Why don't they test that? Yeah. So that yeah. was mine. Well, I okay. mean, just so you know, it's it's there. I mean, it was uh, um, it was part of Michelle's looking at her daughter right now. What is it? Don't even acknowledge this. Oh, because yeah. <laughs> now listen. I want to. Um, I uh, do you want one of these? Is that what you want? <laughs> okay, that's what she wants. Look over here. Reach in. Here, here. Take the plate. Of, 
take the plate of sweets and go. <laughs> Here, take this whole plate and go. The things that we do, the bribes. There okay, you go. Well, listen, what I want to ask. Yeah. <laughs> It do works. what you do. It works. Um, now, what I want to ask you, oh, my God, it's like um, when, because I know that he had one side when he was 18 months and the right. other when he was eight years, yes. right? And um, when he could hear. It is one of the most emotional times I've ever had when they turn that. I mean, uh, I'm, a, I'm like. <laughs> have you ever watched any of these? Oh, yes. The footage of children oh, yes. that go. Well, it was well, interesting. Well, that woman with the, the tattoos all up oh her, have you she seen that one? She just cried. She oh. cried. Well, JQ was sitting on Jim's lap, and the audiologist says, and which is true, we don't hear with our ears. We hear with our brains. Mm. But we feel it in our, we feel sound in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So they said when he is, what they say, turned on, he it will probably frighten him. So... They start, they put it on, and they turned it on, and they went, JQ, and he went, <gasps> and then he turned his head, and he buried it in Jimmy's chest, and it is the most, it's like a, um, it's like a light being on, turned on with mm. your child, if, um, and JQ was very bright and very aware, but it, it just, it's, it, it was totally life-changing for him wow. and life-changing for us and it's been a, a it's been definitely a journey it continues to be something that we have to confront and deal with he is at rochester institute of technology and there is a very large deaf community up there uh we have never signed um but he took it upon himself to take sign so he is signing now and taking classes with okay. um mixed groups of hearing impaired and regular hearing students and he's embraced it as part of his world but he, we were really never we never really pushed him into that mm, mm -hmm. um because i wanted him to learn to listen and to speak and mm -hmm. there's different approaches for hearing loss and some people choose sign language some people choose um just reading lips I chose the oral deaf approach and that was to teach your child to listen and to mm. speak mm -hmm. and he has no tonal qualities to his speaking voice mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. and um it's kind of it's kind of miraculous you know you put on glasses to hear my point then get a cochlear implant I mean you put on glasses to see why not get a cochlear implant to hear mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yeah. But Are there now? Is there? It's um, controversial. It is. It, yeah. In it back, you know, eighteen years ago, twenty years ago, it was probably more so, right? Yes, because yeah. it is a culture. Deaf culture is very, and it as it should be. They, you know, they have their own language. They have their own schools. They have their own some some little towns or even, um, primarily deaf culture, but it's something that you know. God handed to us, and we just took the ball and ran with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And he he's doing so great. He's doing great. You yeah. know, he struggles like any, you know, freshman. You know, he's just trying to figure out his way. And Yeah, do you feel, because of your, your uh, approach to it, that you wanted him to listen? Do you feel that he, that, that uh, made him have more depth, more uh, understanding toward people because it was something that you <laughs> really put there, listen to people, watch people. I and think it's really interesting um, to, as far as parenting, you know, I, I watch parents in Walmart or anywhere, streets of New York, or whatever. here in Michelle Stafford's dining room. Well, you sit there and you, you know, <laughs> we, we take for granted our hear our children hearing us and understanding us so we might be at the kitchen sink doing stuff and you we yell over our shoulder don't yeah. do that get your, yeah or stop get your stop socks, stop your stop on, yeah. or don't let the dog out don't let the dog out and the kid lets the dog out well how did you know it was never an issue for me with jq because i was at jq you if you look a child in yes. the face and you go don't let the dog out mm -hmm. and they go and then he, he just sits there and nods, and I go, did you understand what I was saying? What did I say? He goes, don't let the dog out. I said, okay, great. So I went back to do my thing. I never had an issue with him because I communicated God, with he's him. he's probably the sanest uh, human being on the planet. But it's Seriously, it, he's probably the sanest on the planet. But, you know, saying. I had to go. We had to, everything was teaching him. This is purple, purple. Yeah. This is a cup, cup. I mean, it, you know, 
it sounds redundant and it's and it can be extremely exhausting but it just it was just part of our world and we did it and he he is our little miracle boy yeah but it really d- helped me and mm-hmm. helped jimmy and i be better parents and mm-hmm. we're so um hyper aware and it's you know if we can help through the Center for Hearing and Communication da- back in New York, we really help raise money and do things that, like yeah, that to amazing. help other families. Amazing, yeah. So it's pretty cool. God, but you like know, JQ played there. played a deaf I know child. All my, all my children. Yes, I they know. consulted. I saw it. I, well, she does. She did. She <laughs> did a research. <laughs> I did my I did my research on you. But he did. He on did YouTube. such a great job. He goes, Mom. I said, Are you nervous? He, goes, he did a great job. He goes, If you and Dad and can he, do it, I mean, be- it's not that hard. It's like, Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you two slugs. Can, <laughs> That's right. Can make this happen. No, but he I did great. That I, I, he was, and he's really beautiful too. He's I a mean, good looking like man. how? But he's six <laughs> four now. Is he really? Oh yeah, he stinks and everything. Oh good. Yeah, he's just well, a that's big how boys old are. boy. Yeah, he looks a lot like his daddy. Oh, I think he's a combo of both of you. That's mm. what I say. He's got my facial hair. Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> did you wait? Did you do an infomercial for that? Yes. God no, bless no. you. No, it's my great. Hair. I'm, I'm the hairiest I, bitch on earth. Are yeah. you really? Oh, yes. I've talked but about it. We don't need to talk about it. And that's so bizarre. I think Denise I would. Am uh, Denise not would disagree with you. Oh, you're not blonde. Now none of us are. Denise says I'm the hairiest. No. <laughs> We're not going to discuss That's not, that. You're not paying me for my infomercial. <laughs> it's okay. No, I think it's great. No, it's hilarious. it's money and it's fantastic. Well, I'm, I be- all for I'm a it. believer of it. I'm all for so, it. Oh yeah. And and I wouldn't I, I mean I'm not I wouldn't shit a buddy. I am no. totally a hairy girl. No, but well, I sold Epple ladies prior to being no, a those super hurt. super It was so painful. I stood. I listen, I've tried Epple lady. It hurts. No, it's ridiculous. It's insane. I don't even think they're in business anymore. I used to. They hurt so bad. I used to be in a department store, and I had to, like, stand there and go, What an actress you are. Ma'am, I I would do, I had a million, a million (laughs) jobs. I go, ma'am, and I have to put this down. They'd be like, thank you. I'd be like, ma'am, you want, and I'd have to show it on my own. They're like, you do it. And I'd be like. And you hear these tears go, "Ah." It's great. Listen, when I was in the fourth grade, Santa Claus brought me an electric razor. <laughs> now, that's not even right. That's not Wait, even did, right. Did you ask Santa for it? Probably. Or maybe Santa <laughs> just felt sad. You know, yeah, that, was, that was for my legs. <laughs> oh my God, that's yeah. awesome! Yeah, we were. Let's stop talking about this. No, well, listen. Joking. I mean, everybody I has care. something. I don't care. No, I mean, Lord. no. Everybody has something. Yeah, and it's just you know? been something that was always, you know, I, with two older brothers, you can't escape any type of, you know, they're just ridicule. ridicule me, no yeah. Matter what, so. Yeah. Now, listen. I have seen. I, I know your work and you're amazing. Oh yeah, uh-huh. and really nice. I yeah. remember the first time I met you. I mean, be uh, really honest. I have a crazy memory. I mean, th- I think we all do because of what we do for a sure. living. But I literally, I know your birthday and I'll know it forever. Like I'll see you in twenty years and you'll say, "When is my birthday?" And I'll say March twenty first. And I'm crazy. Like every cast member on my show, I know their birthday. Every That's person. That's really wild. It's a crazy. I'm a. I, it's <laughs> Well, Still there's some, trapped. but there's there's something you know. It's it's probably called autism, but no, I'm just joking. That's, that's <laughs> I'm what joking. it is. No, it's uh, it's great though. No, it's like I. But when did you meet me for the first time? I met you at the Super Soap Weekend. Yes. And I was with my boyfriend at the time, and I had left uh, Young and the Restless, and I think it was like '97, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, it was his gig, so I kind of like stood back because in my mind at that time. I was like, oh, you let, you know, you stand back in the corner and you let your man, <laughs> you let your man. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. Let me hear the rest of this lovely I thought, story. I like, I'm going to try, I'm going to try this mm-hmm. and try this tactic. I can see you're so demure. Did I you have like, your parasol and everything? And you with d- with this you- particular boyfriend, I ended up being very like. Um, I cannot wait to t- you to tell me who the boyfriend was. Um. Yeah, I'll tell you after because we're. <laughs> I'll tell you after. Okay. But uh, so we were doing that, and you went, "Hey!" Because I was kind of in the back, right? And you said, "Hey!" 
you should be back on daytime. Oh my God, you're so great. You should be and back on are. daytime. And, and you like, are. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm just here for, you know, I was doing that. And I just thought, I'm going to try that out. But you were so nice to me. But Michelle, you, and are, sometimes, what, you are the, you are freaking daytime royalty. Well. You are so, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not joking. You are. Listen, I'm just old, but you are great. No, you're no, you're not. You're royalty. You're a legend. And what the um, hell is that? That's uh, the tea's in there, and you go like that. And how cool is that? Are and you, then it is comes. Is this your down. infomercial? No, I wish I was <laughs> selling these because I'd make a shitload of money. There you go. That's this for is sure. Michelle Severn's Cheers. Infomercial right but there. when before I work with somebody, mm -hmm. I'll I'll check them out on YouTube. Not like their personal interviews, but I'll check out so if I don't know their work that well. I'll go on YouTube. Like before I work with someone, I'm working with this new girl coming up and I didn't know her work that much. So I'm on YouTube and then fans started sending me stuff of her. It was really funny. But when b before I worked with Roger, mm -hmm. I went on YouTube. So you saw. And saw Blair and Todd. Yeah. Roger and I played Todd and Blair for 18 years, whatever. Before but he was ended. off for a couple of years, right? Yes. Yeah. But Todd was still on the canvas. Yes. He and that, play. Yeah. Um. But I'm sure the psychological, if you know, a, a psychologist would would go what? Because I feel like sometimes I have spent more time being Blair. Yes. Yeah. You know, five I days know. a week. Yeah. Right. And the the hours. And I was getting back to my son. My son, he goes when I told him I was coming out here to do a job out in California. He goes, "It's okay, mom. You weren't there when I was in junior high." Then went, "What are you talking about?" Because you got home like at nine o'clock every night, and I was like. You know, it's like you don't think about that kind of yeah. stuff, but that's what our jobs were. Now we get out by five o'clock and for make sure. like cramming 10 pounds of shit into a five pound bag. For but sure. For sure. And then we're off so much too. Yes. Which I think keeps us more sane. Of I think it does. Of course it does. It keeps and us it, more sane. It, it, it gives you more of a reality check mm -hmm. because what, going in and doing those jobs day in and day out, you kind of buy into the character, you buy into the energy of the set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The political aspects of it. I'm kind of the girl that kind of goes to her dressing room, closes the door. I do my own hair and makeup just because oh, wow. sometimes I didn't know that. that whole environment is just Little too, known fact. too wackadoodle for me. Um, and I, uh, you know, I just, because I, my mind is always chaotic. I have a lot of chaos and mm -hmm. I have to have quiet. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I would go bazonkers. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I do love daytime. I really do. I do I've too. always loved it. And when One Life to Live ended, I thought I would never get over it. It was such a heart. Oh, God, it me. had to be. And then when they fired me on days, I thought, oh, this hurts, but not nearly but as bad. But you weren't fired. Oh, come on. No. Oh, come on. No, you were just hey, like, we're on. going I a different direction. Go. No, they was said, um, they were knock on your you? door. Oh, shit. They on just had, um, they had a writer change. Yes, that's what happened. And they just decided they didn't need the aging slut on the canvas anymore. They didn't anymore. say that. Well. You're not an aging slut. I played one. I'm not. <laughs> I just played one on TV. But that's okay. Listen, I watched you. She I wasn't just, slutty. You know, there's, you have a. She was listen, not watching the right show. You have, it's called you, Days of Our Lives. You have on a NBC. Class, I played Eve the Ho. I know, but you have a class about you that even if you were being a slut, it wouldn't come off that way. You you have you have um, a class that's just true. about you innately, just so the way I carry myself. Up. Such yeah. such a lady. Yeah, on my but back. But you do. It's like, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like you are, you're classy and smart, and and so it doesn't come off like hoish. Okay. What is a hoe? A hoe. What is that? You the hoe? No, not a hoe. Who sells their vagina? Vagina, fine china is what I call fine it. Fine china. My fine china. They're fine china for. Actually, I, my character doesn't other sell. Well, she was enjoyment. a she was a former prostitute. Okay, so she came back and. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's I, I don't know. You know, she was I a just, former prostitute. Then she came back and said, "I'm going to clean up. I'm going to clean up my my life." Yes, but I didn't want my daughter dating this boy, so I decided I would seduce him, and and then Perfect. my daughter found out. And then was murdered, and my daughter died hating me. So that's my story Ooh. within. Yeah, the story of my arc. In well, you my were very anything. good. Thank you. You were very Thank good. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. But they fired me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Well, 
you know, it's their it's their problem. We're gonna play a game right now. I cannot wait, but I don't know how I can hold um, the microphone. Do you think this. if Days asked you back, you'd 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 go back? Yes. For more money. I just go back. <sighs> I go back and babysit their children, and you know, it's if, a fun if, group. If isn't Y&R it? Isn't me, it a fun if group? If Bold and the Beautiful or General Hospital, or General Hospital, or you know, any other nighttime show or daytime show, or or I could just I, I could just be your sidekick. My sidekick, right here. Oh, we could we could just work together. That would be so awesome. Yeah, that, Roger would have a shit fit. Yeah, Cassie well, and he'd Michelle. Be, he'd be outnumbered. He'd be like, I'll never be able to say anything. <laughs> These two will talk the whole time. Right. Um, okay, listen. This is my game that I made up. It's called How much does this annoy you? Oh, great. That's what it's called. How much does this annoy you? Okay. Truthful. Really truthful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Character or it, real life? Re- oh, real life. Okay. Real life. Okay. Um, I don't know. Line, it, might, know. it might not be a good game. It might not go over very well. well let's but see. we have to just give it a college try, okay? Because there are things in life. I go through my life, and things happen. Like, five things happen every day in my life that I go, oh, my God. Oh, my God, seriously. I'm so annoyed right now. And that's as mad as I get. I hate the word annoyed. Oh, you do? How? I hate it because you do. there's right. a generation. We can pick another one. No, no, we no. We don't have to say it. How much does this uh, no, annoy you is perfect, tick you off? But annoyed is a word that was like coined, I want to say 10 years ago by a generation. Of, I'm so annoyed. Oh, yeah. I don't mean it like so, those. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, when, when a teenager would say that, I would go. <laughs> oh, okay, no. But let's do it. I don't mean I, it like that. I now, can be okay, that on a scale, me. yeah, okay. on a scale from one to ten, okay. on a scale from one to ten, I'm gonna ask a question, and you're gonna, I, and then when, and you're gonna decide on a scale of one to ten how much that annoys you. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna give it a try, okay? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go, Cassie, and you're gonna show, and then I'm gonna show how much it annoys me. Might as well just keep that 10 out the whole time. Okay. 10 being the most these, annoyed. Or ten one. Being, 10 being the most annoyed. Okay. All right. When somebody is a soft talker, meaning. Yeah. I don't hear that. Freaking annoys me bad. 10. You're going for 10 right away. I am. I, listen. Okay. Either, it either bothers me or it doesn't. So I would say, yeah. Wow. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a good seven. Okay, I'm going to go with a good seven because I can all, it annoys me. I can always go, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you speak up? <laughs> Fucking speak up. <laughs> I just want to say, I just want to say. And then if they keep on doing it, then I just got to <laughs> leave. What's the next question? Uh, yeah, What's the next exactly. Because okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. I, and then I think, what? does anybody else have a problem with this? Do you ever what? do that? Like, is anybody else noticing what? how I, did anybody else? What, have exactly? you ever worked with an actor who does that? No. I've worked with a close talker I actor. I had an actor that I used to go, a close okay, talker. dude, if you don't speak up, because I'm like Ethel Merman on set. Mm. Blah, mm. Blah, blah, you know, I'm really loud. <laughs> He's like, I said, I'm sorry, but I can't even <laughs> fucking hear him. It's like, really? Okay, go ahead. You never thought you would hear Cassie Ten. DePiva say fuck, did you? She said Freaking. it. Okay. Um, okay. Here's another one. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. When you're walking down the street and someone looks at you and you're walking down the street and you're doing your deal, mm-hmm. you know, you're thinking of a few things and someone looks at you and they go, they go, smile. <laughs> How much does that annoy you? Well, okay. What is it? No, you have to tell me. Okay, okay show mine, mine is fucking 10. Look at this. One because nobody ever does that to me because I say hello and good morning to everybody. You're from Kentucky. I do. I'm from I, LA. We I don't do. want. We don't I, talk to. We don't look I, at anyone. I'm. I am so joyful. <gasps> well, I'm just bitter. I'm a bitter hag. <laughs> I'm a bitter hag. No, and I, it's okay. I can own it. I can own it. it no, it. I'm like. I go. What. I don't want to go fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that has never happened to me. Oh, God. That has never happened That's to me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. 
All right. How okay. much it does it? Where's my 10? Okay. I got to get all my numbers out. Okay. How much does it annoy you when you go to a public bathroom? Okay. <laughs> Just in general. And there's shit on the seat? Oh, God. That's okay. horrendous. Tits. And <laughs> there, and you go to sit down, you see there's pee all over the seat. It's a female public bathroom and there's pee all over the seat. Now you have to you have to take it upon yourself to wipe it off and clean basically clean their touch toilets. It. Touch it. Right? Mm -hmm. Well you're not touching it. Hopefully, I mean I get a lot of stuff. Yeah. How much does that annoy you? That is a definite 10, but Ten. obviously this person did not sit. They were doing the double squat over the toilet and splattering this. it all over. There and it, yeah. you're like, "What did yeah. you do?" You're just no. They were peeing. They were going, putting. They were peeing and putting their lipstick on at the same time. Ah, uh -huh. there you go. That's ridiculous. That's fucking mental, right? That, like, that's. Woo! Are, is that a ten for you? Like it is a fucking ten. Okay. I still. I mean, I want to know the physics of it. I don't understand. You know, if you're going well, like even this, if, girls, but here's the problem: like, if, if you're just going like this, it's going to go right into the toilet. Okay, but, but if you right? do but that, going, get up and clean it up. Well, I cleaned it That's up, but worst. but still, but still, how did that occur? Twerking. Right? They're They're <laughs> They're twerking. Twerking. I don't know. Like, wow. But just clean it up. Whoa. Okay. Clean it up. Um. Uh. Okay. God. I think. Um. One more. One more. One more. Okay. One more. Uh. No, I'm not gonna do that one. I oh, come on, come on. We'll I'm be sorry, quick. We'll be quick. Sorry. This is new to me. Oh, okay. And then this is going to be the last one. When you go to the grocery store and the cashier says smile, says smile, <laughs> and the cashier comments on the food you buy, comments on it, not like, wow, have you ever tried those before? That's cool. But they go, oh, wow, you're buying a lot of, you're buying a lot of um, sweets. Or wow, you like meat. To the woman who just gave her, a lot plate, of carbs. her daughter a plate of arugula. <gasps> oh my god! Um, if I gave her a plate of arugula, that would arugula, been awesome. I mean, arugula. What is it? What is this called? Is it arugula? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I should have more arugula in my house, yeah. but unfortunately, I just yeah. have that. Um, <laughs> I I don't think I've ever had anybody comment on my food but i here's what i think is here's what i think has happened michelle i think they walk in they see oh my god that's michelle severed i get nervous so i'm gonna comment on stuff no, I think they, no one knows who i am no one knows oh, who you I are am. so full of shit wait a second she it doesn't bother her that thing didn't bother her no and no one comments on her food because nobody really knows who i am it's not a no it's like Oh, wow. I shop at the 99 I, cent store. Do you shop at the oh, 99 yeah, cent store? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. They don't comment on your food. No, there. they don't there. They don't there. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it is Gelson's or maybe it is, uh, you know, Whole Foods that comments on your food. Maybe yeah. that's it. Maybe I, maybe it's the places that I'm picking. I can't. Right. I don't oh, know. I just, I've just never, ridiculous. never, never that's done just that. ridiculous. Do you know, I'm going to end off with this. Do you know okay. that? We're I, done? You know, yes. Yeah, see? This Do you know that so I tested for um, One Life to Live when? in the early 90s, in the early 90s, and it's one of my favorite stories, and I thought, I have this, this is mine. They were all, like, chatty with me and all, like, oh, good, you know, mm -hmm. that whole thing. That, and now I've come to know that that's, like, the kiss of death when people go, you're amazing. Like, I'm almost out the door, and I hear, you're great. I'm like, oh, you know, I almost had it. Um, but they, um, didn't choose me. Mm -hmm. They chose someone else. I never, I never knew who it was. And my agent said, I was devastated, devastated. And it was 92. And he said, they are, um, they, they just wanted to go with pretty. They wanted to go with pretty. They wanted to go pretty. Did you fire that agent? You know, I said, oh, you mean like prettier? No, just, they just really wanted pretty. <laughs> just kept on saying they want a pretty. I'm like, well, prettier, pretty, prettier than myself. No, I think that it was pretty. They didn't say uh, smile. Was, <laughs> smile? No. Your agent said smile. Yeah, smile. <laughs> wow.
I think Paul Rausch was the producer at the time, right. which I came to then work with. We had a really a very. Was he tough? For I you? loved him. Yeah, Jimmy worked with him. I never worked oh, with you him, didn't? but I, I loved him. He was. I he went was to dinner a couple of times with he and Israela, yeah. his oh, wife, because he's a he's he was lovely. Loved. He was loved tough, him. and I really appreciated it. But, but he loved he loved me at the same time. Because so you are a straight shooter. Yeah, you're like I'm you're like shooter. Zimmer. I mean, you just shoot, oh God, shoot straight from that. the hip. But you are. I think I love her because she shoots straight from the hip. You know what I no, mean? I love her. Of course. Yeah. But Zimmer that's what's so I. fantastic about you. You're so refreshing. There is nothing phony about you. And that's no. that's what's really beautiful. Thank you. It's oh, my God. We're going to end on that. My, we're best friends now. Oh, I just yeah. gave you I just gave you my sweat on your shoulder. That's all right. Oh, my God. I yeah. did. She has sweat. She has sweat nice. all over her shoulder. Nice. All right. Thanks. Bye. Uh, bye. See ya. Get out of here. Later. Leave. <laughs> Smile. Smile.